Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Barbie Halloween tutorial for you. So if you want to know how to get this look, then keep watching. Okay, so ba baby, <laughs> Barbie has a really pale face. So what I used was this MUA foundation in the shade 2 Honeycomb. And then just over the top, I put this Luminaire Cosmetics Flawless Face Foundation in you see that? No. Light cool. So I just use that for my face. Um, I have got a little bit of mascara on just so my fake eyelashes blend in. Um, so what I'm going to start off with is the eyeshadow. So I'll just make sure I'm in camera proper. So what I'm going to use is just a cream eyeshadow just to make sure the eyeshadow sticks. I'm just going to use this pale one. I'm just going to apply that just with my finger just like that and then I can never get the lid back on that get a baby wipe out then I am going to take my 120 palette from eBay which are really cheap they're about seven pounds for 120 colours. So the colour I'm going to be using for the eyes is this one here. It's just a nice Barbie pink colour and I'm going to use this number seven brush which is just this big fluffy one and it is better to use the 120 palettes when the eyeshadows are wet because it makes them more pigmented that bit of hair is annoying me <laughs> right so just going to apply that all over the lid I mean as you can see the pigment the pigment in this eyeshadow isn't great but like I said if you use it wet it does work a lot better So it's kind of like a plum, not plum, but a purpley kind of pink. You can see that. I'm going to add a little bit of another pink colour in, just to brown it up a little bit. going to look like that. Then I am going to take another brush. I just want to blend that out a little bit more. Like that. Then I'm going to take another brush. Just a very thin one. Um, you can use a lip brush for this as well. That does work really well. And it's again a number seven one. It's just a very thin brush like that. And now I'm going to take a dark blue colour and I'm going to use, I can show you, this one here, that one. And I'm just going to put it on my brush and this one's a lot more pigmented than the pink as well. So what I'm going to do is just swirl like a dot there and then I'm just going to put it on the crease as well so it looks like that now all I'm going to do is just blend that blue out in the corner because I'm not going to blend the line out because it makes it look a bit more cartoony so just blend that blue in with the purple then it looks like that so I'm just going to do the same on the other eye which is the pink 
on top just up to the crease and then you can blend it above as well like that then again I'm just going to do the same with the blue just dot it and swirl and then just on the crease like that then I'm going to use my blending brush again and just blend that out I'm just going to put a little bit more blue on this side because it, the other one seems to have a little bit more on. Then that's the eyeshadow done. Then just underneath the eye I'm going to put like a little, just a little bit of blue. So just underneath here with that same brush you use for the blue just going to put a little line all the way across then the same on the other eye all the way into the corner so it looks like that then I'm gonna just blend that out just a little bit so now it looks like this if you get any fallout then just dust it away with a brush um, so now what I'm gonna do is take that same little brush again and just wipe it and then I'm going to use a white eyeshadow because for some reason I don't have a white eyeliner I could really do with one though and I'm going to use the this little MUA palette which is about two pounds or something like that and I'm just going to use the white eyeshadow in there that one you see so I'm just going to take it on my brush and just highlight the inner corners of my eye. Really brings your eyes out. Like that. So that's the eyeshadow done. Now I'm going to apply the fake eyelashes, which I'm going to use these ones. You get about uh, about 10 pairs on eBay for about a pound. And these are, I think these are the thick ones. So I'm going to take a pair for each eye, and then, um, not a pair, just one for each eye. And then I'm going to take just one eyelash and cut it in half. I'm just going to put it on the bottom of my eyelashes there. So, just get them out. These are the eyelashes. These ones. Right, and now I need, just need to cut the ends because as you can see there, just that little bit of string. Don't want that. So I'm just going to cut that off. on either side and now I'm gonna put the glue on them just wiggle them into a little shape so they're not just a straight line 
and I use this glue again which is off eBay and it is a black glue so it dries black and blends in a lot better so I'm just going to apply that to the whole of the strip and I'm going to put more on the outer edge and the inner edge that's where they come up which is very annoying and the other one sorry I feel like I'm so quiet in this video I'm really concentrating I know I don't necessarily look like Barbie but this is my take on Barbie and how I would see Barbie wearing her makeup so I'm just going to leave them just for a couple of seconds because if you put one straight away the glue's just going to go everywhere. It's okay, it's just a brush. No way. Yes. <laughs> right, anyway. So I'll apply the first one, which is to this eye. So I'm just going to put it just above my eyelashes. like that just want to make sure they are going to stay in place so like that then I'm going to do the other one exactly the same got nail glue all over my fingers now that one just needs a bit of shape putting in it. Oh crap. Put glue at the top of my eye. That's not what to do. So I just bend it round. And there will just stick. Eyelash stick. Like that. So now I am going sorry, I just feel like my camera's not properly in place. Now I'm gonna take one half of an eyelash. Oh so I'm going to take this here, which looks like nothing, I'm just going to cut that in half. Right down the middle. So I'm just going to put glue on these little bits. And these are going to stick on the bottom. quite tricky at first to get the hang get off my finger <laughs> of um, doing bottom eyelashes it's quite tricky to get the hang of doing normal eyelashes I'd say like that so I'm going to take it and just stick it under the edge of my eye like that and if you think they need trimming then you can trim them I'm going to trim a little bit long it's not going to stick now is it now taking it off I'm 
not liking that eyelash. Try this one. <laughs> Got glue all over my fingers. So I'm just going to place it just under like that. It looks like that. Then I'm just going to do the same on the other one, but I need to cut it again now. I mean, you might think it looks a bit silly, so you don't have to do that, but you, know, you can get just under eyelashes, proper under eyelashes if you want to. But yeah, I'm just doing little ones. I just need to glue that now. And that eyelash is annoying me because it keeps coming up. These eyelashes are really good quality for like a pound as well. was in place. See like I said it can be tricky to do bottom fake eyelashes. There we go, like that. So now I'm going to move on to the blusher. So the blusher I'm going to be using is Accessorize in Wowzer which is just a really really bright pink. And I'm going to apply that just to the apple, blend it out. Sorry, the sun just decided to shine and it's all in my eyes. Just like that. I'm just going to shut the curtain. That doesn't make any difference. <laughs> so now I'm going to do lips. I'm going to apply this Vaseline first. So put that on. <laughs> and now I'm going to use Barry M in number 52 lipstick, which looks like this ah, bright pink. So I'm just going to apply that. So they look like that. And yeah, that's basically it for the makeup. I mean, if you're blonde, then that's really good, but if you're not, then you probably need a wig. So now it's time for accessories. I'm just going to leave my hair like this because Barbie has kind of straight, sleek hair, and I don't really want to get rid of the sleekness. So the only thing I'm going to add is some sunglasses. So I'm going to have these white sunglasses and these are from Primark and they were about a pound and yeah I just need to put some pink colours on now and anything pink honestly just throw it on. Um, so yeah you might not think I look like Barbie but this could be like a crazy Barbie or evil Barbie for Halloween or just any I don't know it's just a nice bright makeup to go out for Halloween in. I mean obviously I wouldn't go out like this normally <laughs> but yeah I hope you liked it and I hope you have a very good Halloween and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!